Cat Synth TV. Hey everybody, Cat Synth TV. And today we are looking at the Yamaha RX-5 drum machine. The RX-5 was the flagship of Yamaha's line of drum machines. It had a rather impressive feature set. In addition to its 24 12-bit PCM sounds, it supported individual envelope editing and bendable pitch for each voice. There were also 12 individual levels and outputs for the different instruments. It is often overlooked compared to its more famous rolling counterparts like the TR-808 and 909, but it's still a great instrument for those who are looking for a vintage drum machine with a different sound. I was fortunate enough to obtain my own RX-5 in 2020. And it's now fully functional, thanks to our friends at Synthetic Dreamscapes. They stand on everything they do. I've already used it in several music videos, which I encourage you to check out via the link above. As you can see, the RX-5 is a very beautiful instrument and very approachable. There are 24 pads for the available sounds. Buttons for the accent levels, start and stop, and recording or editing are very easy to get to. Now there is a whole host of other functions, which are accessed via these control buttons and menus, but we'll get to those later. The instrument buttons are arranged in 12 columns with two sounds each. Let's listen to them now. I got a fever, and the only prescription is more cowbell. <laughs> okay, enough of that, Meshugana. One of the interesting features of the RX-5 is that it has separate faders for the 12 sound sets, allowing you to dynamically set the output levels for each. Okay, let's make some patterns. First, I'm going to press Quantize to select the notes subdivision we want to work with. Let's start with eighth notes. Now we press Step Right to open up Step Recording. Use the Accent 2 key to scroll through the time signature and length settings. 4-4 four four is fine for now, but let's make it two bars long. Press Start to begin entering notes. I'll use this bass drum with accent level 2. Do the same thing again. There, now we can play our pattern. We can change the tempo on the fly using this tempo slider. Now one of the things you can do is copy a pattern. Press copy, select pattern. We're gonna copy pattern zero to pattern one. So now we can select pattern one, and it's the same as our previous pattern. I want to add some of these hi-hats to our beat. And I want to do that using 16th notes. So I press quantize and select 16th notes. This time I want to record the part in real time, so I'll select real time right. This will loop through the pattern and allow us to play new parts on top.
Great, now let's copy it again, this time to pattern 2. Press yes. Now we go to pattern 2, and that's got everything. Now I'm going to add some of that cowbell. Press real time right again. Now we can press patterns to select patterns on the fly while we're playing. Okay, now let's bring up a fresh pattern, pattern 3. Now first I'm going to show you another feature. You can reverse any instrument with the reverse button. Press the button again to turn reverse off. Now let's do a brand new pattern. Press quantize and select eighth notes. Press step right. Now I'm going to change the time signature to 7-8. Press 07, accent, and eighth note. Press start. Reverse. Skip. Overlay another part. Turn reverse off. That's pretty cool. And let's do one more pattern. I'm going to do 15-8 because we're weird that way. And enter our new pattern. Now we've just been playing and switching patterns on the fly, which is fine, but we can put them together in a song. We press song mode. Come on, come on. There we go. We can start building our song by pressing edit song. Now what I'm actually going to do is start with a repeat sign. Press repeat. Press 1 for start repeat. Advance to the next step. Put in pattern 1. Put in pattern 1 again.
pattern 2, our 7-8 break in pattern 3, and finally our 15-8 break. Now on this next step, we'll add an end repeat. Press repeat and 2. I'm going to set it to repeat 8 times. Press song to get out of here, and let's play what we've got. Now the RX-5 also includes a lot of features for changing and modifying sounds. These fall under key assignments and voices. Key assignments determine which voice is assigned to which of these keys. So let's press key assignment. We can now select different menu items, referred to as jobs. Press the job key and select 01 to go to the voice assignment. We see that key E is assigned to internal voice for Electric Tom 2. We can set it to the same tom as the key below. There are also these two copy or CP voices available that we can put other things in. We'll come back to those later. If we set the assignment to tom 2, we see that keys E and Q are exactly the same sound. But we can switch to another job here to change some of the voice parameters. Let's go to job 2. We can look at different things here. Pitch, level, envelope, attack, and decay. It's pretty cool that on the RX-5, the voices and key assignments have their own envelopes. So now I want to change the pitch. Pitch it up a little bit. Now they sound quite different, despite using the same voice. In job 2, press 2 to edit the volume level. Now that's a better balance in my mind. Press 3 to edit the attack. And now we have quite a different sound. Okay, still in key assign, let's switch to key F. I'm going to show you another little trick. We can go to job 9, which is copy voice. Now what that means is that we can pick a voice from anywhere among the keys or memory. We can start scrolling through these, find something I want to use, and let's go with this China symbol. Now we hit accent to select the destination. We want CP6 because this is the sixth instrument set. Hit start to complete, and it's copied. Go back to job 0 to do the voice assignment. We can set it to CP6, and now it's the China symbol. So now let's go wild with its pitch. Job 0, 2, press 1. Let's take the pitch way down. I like that. So now let's go back to select pattern. We can overlay our new sounds. Press real time right.
pretty cool. But wait, there's more. Let's go back to the key assign and assign key D to voice CP4. <coughs> now we go to Edit Voice to start selecting the details of the voice in CP4. Go to Job 1 in the Edit Voice menu to select the voice we want to edit. The other jobs in the menu give you control of pitch, finer control over the envelope, pitch bins, and looping. First, let's go to Job 2 to change the pitch. Now job 3 to change the envelope. Select 1 for attack rate. Good. Let's do decay 1 rate. Pretty cool. Let's do the release via option 4. Now we can switch to Job 6 for Loop. Right now, Loop is on. If we turn it off, we lose that nice tail on the sound. Let's turn the looping back on. Now let's go to Job 4 to add a pitch bend to our sound. Set a rate and a range up or down. Now we have created a completely different sound from what we started with. So now we can go back once again to Pattern Select. Let's copy from Pattern 1 to Pattern 6. Go to Pattern 6 and overlay our brand spanking new sound on top of that. Let's go back to song mode and edit our song, scroll past all the existing steps, reduce the number of repeats to two, add another start repeat, and now add pattern five. Pattern five again, pattern six, pattern six again, and finally pattern four. Now press repeat and two for a close repeat, and we'll repeat that twice. All right, then. Show me what you got!
Now the RX-5 also comes with an external ROM cartridge with more instrument types that can be used for voices. In fact, Yamaha originally released several additional ROMs for jazz fusion, heavy metal, and effects. There is now even a board created by Pharmasonic that allows a USB drive with audio files to be used as an RX-5 voice cartridge. But we'll save that for another video. For now, let's load in the included ROM cartridge. Now when we turn the RX-5 back on, we see a message alerting us that the cartridge has changed, and it asks if we want to initialize. We'll say yes. And now it asks, are you sure? And the reason it asks you is because once you say yes to this, any voices you have that relied on data from a previous cartridge will be erased. Not an issue here, so we'll say yes. So now go back to key assign, select key A, go to job 1. Now in addition to the internal and CP voices, we have CRT, or cartridge voices, available. Here's BD3, which is another bass drum sound. And conga high. Let's go with that. And do the same thing on key B. Go to the cartridge voices. Here's a different snare drum. And another conga high. Now let's go to key C and select conga low from the cartridge. Nice! Now go back to pattern mode, select a new pattern 7, and start step recording. We'll make it two bars again. And press start. First, let's go to quantize and select 16th notes. Alright, now we can really start entering our pattern. Skip a couple of steps. Okay, cool. Let's mess around with some more voices. We haven't really used these two very much, so we'll reassign them. Go to Key Assign. First thing we do is go to Job 9. We'll copy a Go Go High from the cartridge into CP11. Okay, now go to job 01. We'll assign this key to a go go high. Now let's go back to that voice, CP11. Job 2 to alter its pitch. Now alter the envelope a bit. Kind of an interesting sound. Maybe we want to give it a little bit of pitch bend. So let's go to job 4 and set the range and rate. Okay, one more key assign. Select Timbali Low from the cartridge. In this case, let's just edit the key assign parameters. Go to Job 2, select Pitch, and take the pitch up a bit. And change the attack and decay a bit. Let's go back to Pattern Song one more time and copy Pattern 7 to Pattern 8. And now let's do a real-time record with our new instruments.
So now let's go back to song mode, go back to edit song, scroll through everything. Just one repeat this time. Keep scrolling. Now before we get to that final end repeat, we're going to insert another step. Put pattern 7 on this new step. Insert pattern 7, insert pattern 8, insert pattern 8, insert pattern 3. Okay, let's do the whole song with all our new voices and patterns. Hope that you've enjoyed this detailed look at the classic Yamaha RX-5 drum machine. To find out more, please check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to CatSynth TV.